Hello everyone, this is your daily- Okay, uh, I thought this parkour looked kind of smooth though. Uh, you might like it. <laughs> also, really quick favor to ask you guys. YouTube analytics tells me that only 100% of you guys who watch my videos, watch my videos. That means 0% of you aren't watching, so if that's you and you end up liking this video, it'd mean a lot if we could just get that 0% of you guys to come and watch my videos. That'd be really helpful. It's free, all you need to do is click the play button once. I'd appreciate it a lot. Thanks. Fellas, I invented what I think is a new jump. That is, I've never seen it before in any one of the 1,500-ish parkour maps I've played in my life, and I asked some fellas from the parkour community, and they never saw it either. Just to err on the side of caution, I'll say that this jump has probably been used before somewhere in the world in some parkour map, first discovered by some other person, I'll bet somewhere in Japan where creative parkour really shines, this jump has probably been done. But whatever, you're probably getting bored. This is the jump. The key feature here is the plus sign shaped glass pane, exclusive only to Minecraft versions 1.8.9 and below. Oh, and if you're curious, yes I am making a parkour map on Manicube, that's the big spherical whale you see in the background. Some video might be humanized from this when it's completed. In most parkour that has ladders and glass panes together, there's usually something like this, and you can either go back and around the pane, or you can go underneath it. The thing about the plus shaped pane is that neither of these methods work anymore. The pane is too long to go back and around while still holding onto the ladder, and if you go underneath it, you'll be stuck underneath it. You can't get to the top of the ladder where your player bounces up and down. What this ends up doing is it separates the ladder into two exclusive worlds. Once you end up on one side of the pane, you can't cross over to the other. So you can end up making a Neo-like jump as such, where you have to jump around the plus shape to the far half of the ladder. This version isn't so tough, and the jump is not meant to be tough. And I'm sorry that it's probably not as exciting as the title seems to suggest. If you want examples of newly discovered jumps that are really interesting, I'm going to suggest something like the Y-facing Neo aka the Vertical Neo. What I've come up with is mostly an exercise in creativity, seeing how we can come up with fresh new jumps using the same old blocks we've had for years. Ultimately, we end up with four total jumps at our disposal, expanding our parkour repertoire, if you will. Don't though, it sounds pretentious. Uh, there's a major issue with this jump though, because completing the jump means you're stuck on the ladder, bouncing up and down for fun, and you can't really go anywhere from here. So the next jump after this can't even be a real jump, because you can't jump from the ladder. I experimented with things like placing adjacent blocks with ladders on them that you can just slide on over to, but that means this plus shaped pain jump I invented is easily skippable. This was a big challenge. At this point, a good fella from the parkour community, Zizzer Kurikiv, was helping me design this jump so it would actually be functional, non skippable. We determined that it was best to have the starting block be at least 1.5 blocks lower than the top ladder. This meant you couldn't skip to the next higher ladder after the jump because you're a slab too short. And that's a nice segue into how we figured out how to make the jump not skippable. Zizzer Kurikiv. I'm just gonna call him ZZ from now on. Uh, ZZ was instrumental in these discoveries. While I was busy fooling around with Japanese ladders in a context where Japanese ladders don't work at all, this fella discovered we could have the subsequent jump be a zigzag RNG ladder. That's not the official name for that jump, I don't know if there is one, but you've probably seen it. It's this. The zigzag ladder is stupid because it feels like it's random whether or not you make it up to the next ladder or fall off. You're not jumping, you're just sliding along and flipping a coin, at least that's what it seems like. There's probably a surefire method for making it to each higher ladder by watching your up and down movement and sliding over at the right timing, but I've never figured it out in all my years. Anyways, that's the first way we figured you could make the plus shaped pain jump non-skippable. Then we found a second similar way, where instead of a zigzag ladder, you just have an adjacent perpendicular block with a ladder on it, one block over and one block up. With my minimal testing, this version seems like failing to slide over would not be caused by random chance as often, but it can still happen and that irritated me. Before we get to my favorite design of this jump, I want to backtrack a tiny bit to when I first talked about the zigzag RNG ladder. I figured out much later how to make it not random chance at all by just placing one ladder, changing the zigzag into an elbow. When you do the jump this way, you really just slide over without any chance of failing. I like this maybe just as much as what I'm about to talk about next, which is when ZZ started fooling around with water and lava. At first I'm like, buddy pal, little friend, come to meet your maker, come to meet your end, you can just skip by jumping into the water from the very first starting block. Then we changed the starting block to be 2.5 blocks down instead of 1.5, and the skip was killed. And more importantly, there was just another method of making the jump non-skippable. First, we did have to tinker with the pain so the player was forced to enter on the one half of the ladder we wanted them to jump to, and then the jump was complete. You jump on the ladder at the right angle, then just float your way up through the water. Non-skippable, original, fresh, creative, new jump design. Love it. Now finalized- oh sh my lead client popped. Um, anyways, now finalized as a real jump, ZZ jokingly told me to call this the Happy Heart Neo, as is the kind of tradition for whenever one discovers a new jump or mechanic in parkour. I don't want to call it the Happy Heart Neo though. 
First, it's not even really a Neo, it just shares some properties of traditional Neos. Second, I'll only ever name a jump or mechanic after myself if it's really cool or really special. Third, I already came up with my own name for the jump. I'm gonna call this jump the Side Plus Ladder. Side as in you're forced to jump to a specific side of the pane to a specific half of the ladder. Plus as in the shape of the glass pane. Ladder as in there's a ladder, it's one of the main features of the jump. So here comes the time to try and make the jump as hard as possible because that's the fun part. Most variations come from changing the placement of the starting block. In first testing the jump, I add the starting block here as a 2b times 0. The jump is just barely Neo-like, where you must do some curving to make it to the far side of the ladder. After the testing, I shifted the jump over to create a 2b times 1. This is significantly harder. At first I could only complete it after giving myself a small momentum setup. Only after completing it in those conditions did I try with only one block of momentum. I found that that was possible too, but it's really hard and painful this way. You keep hitting your head on the plus shape, where you just don't connect with the ladder at all. This is satisfactory. Please try to find harder variations of the jump, be as creative as you please, I'd like to see what possibilities are out there. Lastly, I figured I should mention this again, I'm recording this on Manicube, and this server does not allow plus shaped panes or iron bars in their parkour maps. It's an illegal block since it's a different shape in Minecraft versions 1.9 and up, and the parkour on the server is going to glitch out if asked to deal with two different shapes for the same block. So I can't have these jumps in my map. As a substitute, I add doubly long thin panes where you still have to jump to the far side of the ladder. I might actually prefer this version of the jump because as you can actually jump off after landing on the ladder, you don't have to undergo the painstaking task of designing the jump just so, so as to be non-skippable. Well that's it, I hope that was interesting for you. I actually come across an issue with doing these parkour segments in my videos where I wonder, is this interesting or engaging for the average person? I feel like it can be, but I may sometimes get fixated on small, unimportant things, not always delivering it in the most exciting way. Ultimately, I want to talk about what will really hold someone's attention. Someone being you. You tell me how you feel! Do it. Does my mic sound distant now? Goodness gracious, my parkour skills are in question, said no one in the entire history of humanity and of the universe in the entirety of it and the 10 to 500 versions of space-time. That's, that's string theory, according to string theory. Uh, no. This is an exercise in my F3 menu. Where are the barriers? One block jump. One block jump. One block jump. Oh, I'm going back to the start. I did it. Uh, triple Neo. Oh, it's harder than a triple Neo, actually. Oh, I guess I'll just one-shot it then. How good am I? How good am I? Someone please help me, please. I need a hero. I am looking out for a hero. I'll turn visibility on so I can see my hero. What are you looking at me for? Grow up. Yo, a corner in chat. Oh. Bro! I'm stuck in a block. I am losing my world record high pixel housing parkour speed runtime. And these guys want to talk about my YouTube channel. I'm really good at parkour. And yeah, thanks, dude. But uh evidently not. Yo, he finally showed up! Thank you. Thank you. LOL XD! Big shout out to the boring night. All that I had to do to get him to let me go was to talk about my YouTube channel. Meanwhile, ZX AZ makes an entire room of barrier parkour, you can't see anything. Then, uh, when I ask for help, he defers to his co owners, question mark. I'm sick of you, ZX AZ. You're lazy. Just kidding, ZX AZ is a good friend of mine. We go way back. We fought in the war together. Love him. Love my brother. Anyways, as the video shoutout is to The Boring Knight, the video shoutout shall also be to KittyGamer23. Now, as I said in this tweet, see here, someone tell me what this is from, and I will give you a video shoutout moment. A video that will go fireworks and Hong Kong style ice milk tea. KittyGamer23, eyes closed, guess is right. Outlast. This image showed up in this here Outlast video. So here's your shout out, Kitty Gamer23, Kitty Gamer23, Kitty Gamer23, Kitty Gamer23, Kitty Gamer23, Kitty Gamer.